Okay, well, this is our daily task on how we get the DTF printer running. The so first step that we do is we fill the powder back up. Now evenly space it on all four all corners. Next step, which is the most important, is your white ink. We want to take care of the white ink. As you can see over the weekend, there was some separation in the ink lines. This is what happens when the ink sits. So what we want to do is we use a wine whisker and we scrape the bottom of the white ink chamber. As you can see, it's, it's actually going really slow. There's a bunch of sludge that's underneath. And what I do is I just scrape the bottom. As you can see, it's loosening up. It's getting easier to scrape the bottom. And there's usually a lot of build up in the front area here that you need to focus on. Okay, now that I see that it's broken up, still a couple more areas that are tight. Okay, now that I, I'll, I'll turn my whisker on. I test to see if there's any more spots. So everything looks good, feels good. So what we'll do next is while I wash this, I'll turn on the machine and, and let the white ink start to circulate. I'll leave it on for about five minutes, let it do its thing, and then I'll come and start printing. So as we start to get the machine running, what I'll do first is uh, a strong head clean. I'll typically do about one or two strong head cleans and do, do a test print to see how things are looking. The origin of the X usually changes. You want to bring it back to 110 as the default. And I'm performing some head cleans already, but what I want to do as first print is going to be this color test. This prints out all eight colors plus white job is selected and I can press print job now let's look at the print
But usually the first print tells a lot about how the head is currently uh, sitting. Uh, the prints look pretty good. All the colors came out. I do see slight banding in the white. As you can see, there's slight banding. But I would say overall, this is not bad. I'll move this, drop this back up. I will go ahead and perform a, another head clean. I'm going to go. I'm also going to do a strong head clean. Um, a regular head clean could have worked with this, but I'm going to do a strong head clean just to um, just so that I don't have to do it once more after that, hopefully. Now you can also delete the previous day's job. These takes up these take up a lot of uh, bandwidth. Go back to main top, check the file was finished ripping. So now I'm gonna go ahead and import. I'll import the black file and I will also import the white file. Both jobs are right here. Whites, there's really no preview. The blacks preview, I can go ahead and right click and get rid of all this excess area. So edit job, cut. You wanna drag it, then make sure you're covering all the edges. Click okay. This is the preview, make sure that the print is still here. And let's go ahead and check on the uh, printer. I'm gonna go ahead and print another white press. Okay, as you can see, there's been an improvement in the white. It went from having the banding here to being almost clear as far as banding goes. So it's pretty good. I would say that it's print ready. I'm gonna move into position.